Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am behind the camera once again and today I'll be showing you guys my photo card collection. So I was planning on filming this for a long time but I was just lazy and I haven't gotten to it. So today I will finally be showing you guys my photo card collection. It is not a very large photo card collection and I do not uh, typically collect photo cards. I just keep whatever photo cards I get from the albums I buy and I put them in here. But there are some photo cards which I wanted to clear from my collection and kind of like downsize because I wanted to sell them and stuff like that. They just sit in this binder so I think it's better if I just send them off to a better home. And yeah, I just added some new photo cards in here because I just did an unboxing of the signed version. So. I didn't realize I had so many doubles, so I'm selling some of those as well. Anywho, this is the front. Nothing special. This is a... Um, I don't remember how big this binder is. If I can remember, I'll list it down there. I believe it's an inch and a half or two inches. It's just a regular white binder and I'm not much of a uh, decorator of binders, so I just stuffed in some postcards and in here and then this, these two right here are from Ling, um, so I put them in here. The this one I believe is from a photo book from Affection I believe and I believe this one right here is from Louise when she sent me the Japanese goods. Anywho, so right now oh before I open it I have this rested on a um, notebook um, because I don't want glare on these. If there is glare throughout this whole video I apologize but anywho. So the way I organized it was by the date it came out or by era. Um, that's just how I like to organize it um, because I'm kind of OCD in that sense. So since we are going chronological, um, this right here are all the 17 karat um, photo cards. Not really photo cards, they're kind of like big postcards. So we have it in order. I might flip through them really quickly. And as you can see, I did organize them by age. Not all of the photo cards will be organized by age. It just so happens that 17 Care I organized that by age because I wanted to be that way. And these right here um, are clear files, but I sewed the center and it made a slit so I can hold two of these big postcards. Um, just because I didn't want to go out and buy like those expensive clear holder whatever for the postcards if you have a lot of time on your hands like i did then yeah that's something you can do and if you don't know how to do that um there are a lot of tutorials online on how to do that um next here we have it starts getting messy but right here we have the what was it called oh my gosh i'm brain farting right now boys b so boys b this one is from the hide version and this is from seek i don't think that matters but i'm um, right here so that's Uji and June and I'll take I'll let you guys take a look at the back in a bit and then right here is a love and letter so love and letter I have Dino's and I have Mingyu's and if you have seen any of my unboxings before you'll probably see all these photo cards just because like I don't go out to buy a lot of these photo cards and just unbox them so right here this one you guys saw in my um Japan merch or goods unboxing. This is what Louise gave and this is from the 17 Encore concert from the 2016 one and I leave it in here because I believe the time it came out was in between this so I like to kind of keep them in chronological order if you can't tell and if you guys want to take a look at the signatures on the back and then next, obviously, we have a Love and Letter repackaged. So these two I got from the albums, but I did trade to get this one. I originally had a Joshua Polaroid, but I traded with someone else. And not all my pages are filled up, as you can see, so you will see the photo cards are, that are behind there. I'm so sorry. But the next thing we do have right here are the Going 17 um, photo cards. 
So I have, these ones are all the ones I got minus this one and this one. I did trade for this one and I bought this one um, just because I really wanted this one right here because I love Wanhan. So I needed this photo card and this one is super loved by me. I did put it in my phone case when I first got it, but then it kind of ruined it. So I, it did not ruin it, but it got like, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. Hold it. But there are these lines. I don't know if you guys can see them, but that's because I put it in my phone case and it kind of made those lines. So I was freaking out. I was like, no, I can't have that. So that's why I put it back in here. I'm not going to put photo cards in my phone case for that reason. So yeah, these are all the ones I have and that's the back of this. And then the next things we have here are the all one uh, photo cards. So this one right here, I did trade for some of them and then I bought some of them I believe. I can't remember which ones I bought. I believe I bought this one and this one and then I traded for this one. So these two I got from um, the album myself and then these ones right here are the what I can't remember what they're from they're diamond edge photo cards I did buy these off of eBay because I really wanted them um, this one in particular is adorable I really love this one um, yeah I wanted them in my collection and I was kind of upset I couldn't buy these um, and I was assuming well you shouldn't assume but I assumed that like uh, the concert in Canada would have merch but obviously we did not get any of that stuff so I'm happy to have this in my collection so as you can see I did put all my uh, postcards in here as well that came with the um, album but uh, I didn't do that for the boys B just because they weren't individual members they were just a group shot so I didn't put them in here if it's a singular member kind of photo I will put them in here that's just how I like to organize it and I forgot to mention, these um, pages right here, I did buy. Uh, I bought like a, I can't remember how many pages I bought. I bought like a hundred pages of these. I don't think I even need that much, but I have them. So I might sell them off because I don't think I'll use that many pages. But these are the nine card ones and they are very good quality. So anyway, so these are the uh, postcards that came with the All One albums. And then Ming Hao's right here by himself. So this next set right here, this is the official second generation carrot kit photo cards. Um, these photo cards came with the official membership. Um, so I did organize them by age again, um, how they came in the package. But the only thing is that Pledis decided, and I think Miha wanted this too, to be the eighth because he's the eight. Anyways, so that's why instead of it being Sukmin, Mingyu, and then the eight, it is uh, the eight Mingyu and then Sukmin. So right here, you can see all of them. And then the backs. I have a video on these ones, so if you guys want up close of them, I will link them. Anywho, so continuing on. And next, you can see what's peeking through is this right here. And these ones are the Teenage Album Photo Cards. Um, again, this is the one I traded for. I traded for this one. I received this one from Alice and then I believe all the other ones are the original ones. I did sell off some photo cards already. Um, so that's why some of my collection looks like it's patchy and missing some stuff. It's because either I traded or I already sold some, especially duplicates because I did get a lot of duplicates and I'm trying to sell them off. And after this video, I will be trying to edit down my collection and try to sell some as well. So if you haven't seen my selling Twitter, I will link it down there as well. Um, so right here, these ones are the uh, standees, which I got. And I did have duplicates of Escoops, but I gave one away to Claire. Um, and then I have Jong'an. And I have duplicates of Jong'an because I'm greedy and I want to keep two. I might give one away or I might sell it. I'm not too sure, but I really want to keep two because this one is adorable. Then we have June, Wanu, Uji, Sungan, 
and I had two sing one but I sold them as well. The next ones in here are the season greeting from 2018 and these cards right here are in a complete set obviously because they came with the season's greeting and I organized them again by age besides the eight again and you know how this is so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna explain that and they have messages on the back um, for each month and if you guys want to see a video of that again I will link everything in here so you guys can find it these ones are the carrot land or the second carrot land fan meet cards and they came in a set so I ha do have the full set or almost full set because I did sell some of the blue and then there's a pink as well I didn't get the pink I just um, bought some pink photo cards so as you can see I have John the full group and then I have June and John and then I have one and June because these are my favorites so I like to keep them in here and then I also have this one because I thought this was cute this is um, DK and Uji and this is the back I think this one is so adorable hold it I'm gonna show you guys this is John's card right here and he looks super cute like this but the back is even more cute on the back of all the pink um, solo photo cards is that what you call it I have no idea but this one right here they drew their faces on there and this one is so cute and this is the b set so it is a little bit more how do you say it like edgy and hot and not as innocent or cute and sweet as the pink set um so i have all the members right here and then i kept the ones where they're in their um outfits like this one their prince outfits i kept these ones and then i sold um, some of the other cards where it was just the um, what's it called again? I'm trying to remember The OTPs I kept the ones that I wanted so the ones I kept are these ones And the one I really like is this one right here If you can see I tried to keep all the June Wanu and Joanne ones just because those three are my favorite. The next era that we have here is the director's cut. Um, I hope there isn't too much glare. I know there's a little bit of glare on S-Coops right now. I'm sorry, S-Coops. Um, but uh, right here, I did trade for this card, or did I buy it? No, I bought this card because it was impossible to find drawn cards. And I do have quite a bit of cards because I did buy extra albums. Um, and I think I sold some, I believe. Anyways, I have um, these lenticulars in here as well. And there's Hoshi and Chen. And then these, um, what's it called? Oh my god, business cards, that's what they're called. And then obviously they came with some photo cards. Uh, not photo cards, postcards. So I kept them in here as well. And I kept each member set in a specific way. So I have the original photos, not original photos, the professional taken photos. And then on the back, I do have the photos that were taken by The8. So again, John... And then I have the photos taken by the eight. And then Josh. Wanu. And then Mingha. So this right here is the era where I kind of went a little bit crazy and I bought some photo cards while I was in Japan for the concert and the fan meet. So um, I am very happy I was able to get this set, this whole print set, and I'm obsessed with this set. I spent lots of money for it, so I think I'm, uh, I should keep it. <laughs> anyway, so I do have the full Prince outfit one. Hold up, I don't think I ever showed you guys really up close of certain ones of these ones. So this one right here, this is the full Prince outfit and get up. We have all the members in order. I'm very proud of that. And then I kept some of the photo cards that I wanted. I know there's a lot of glare right now and it's bothering me. Oh my goodness. I love this one. And this one, I had to like try to find this one. This one took me forever. I had to buy it off of a Japan Yahoo auction kind of thing. Anyways. And the backs of these photo cards are freaking adorable. I'm sorry I'm not showing you guys like individually all the cards because there's too many and I don't want this video to be 5,000 hours long. Anywho, so this page is kind of random. I did 
didn't know where to kind of put it because it was different and I didn't want to randomly just have one page of one card. So this page is my HMV Japan cards and it's hard to see right now. Maybe I will like show you guys and up close. So these cards right here are like from Japan HMV obviously and these cards are super expensive and hard to get. Um, because they are exclusive to Japan. So um, I'm not going to expand this collection because they are super expensive. I'm not a collector. So anyways, this one right here is from... where? What, what era is this from again? I can't remember. So this one is the Going 17 era. This is the Teenage era. And then this is the Director's Cut era. And this is also the Director's Cut era from 4chan. So I had to trade two cards in order to get this one. Um, but it's worth it because this card is so beautiful. And then on the back, if you haven't seen, um, these used to be coupons, which you can get 300 yen off of stuff, which is like $3, I believe. And then the back of the Director's Cut ones are just plain old cards. What I am missing from my collection though is um, the Taiwanese ones. I don't have the Taiwanese ones. I was planning on getting them, but then I always ended up forgetting. I don't know why I should get them because uh, they're part of like 17's collection anyways. Because I do have the Japanese stuff, but I don't know why I don't have the Taiwanese stuff. Anywho, that's a different tangent. Whatever. Let's move on. So these ones are the We Make You album. Um, I only have one, two, three, four, five. I believe I sold one of Sungwan's because I had a doubles of his. Um, but yeah, I did not get any Dawn and I didn't want to buy or trade because again, trading and buying's a lot of time and effort and it's a hassle and I'm not a collector again. So right here, these ones are exclusives, not exclusives, these are like, how do you say it, limited edition stuff. So if you bought albums from HMV Japan, these ones were the kind of entry or raffles for, so I'm showing you right here, this is Uji's, I believe I showed you guys already. This one I got from Ling, she gave that one. So anyways, these ones are um, high touch entries, I believe. Yeah, they're high touch entries, so basically there was a code on the back. Once you bought an album, you can enter them for a raffle into a high touch in Japan. Anyways, that's um, passed already. But right here, these ones are the postcards I showed in my unboxing. And those ones were exclusive. If you bought it from a certain stores, they would give postcards as a freebie for pre-ordering or buying albums from their stores. And then we have here um, the... Mm, I can't remember... Is this from the Japanese showcase? Yes, so this, I'm like trying to look right now. So this is from the Japanese debut showcase and um, three of these cards I picked and then three of these cards were random because um, each package only came with three cards but I really, really liked this card. And I show this in unboxing again. And then right here, um, if you can't tell, there is a hole because I still kind of want Joanne's card. I just left them there just in case. I haven't decided if I want to collect it or what's going on. But these ones are cards from the Ideal Cut concert. Um, so these are the cards that I have. So let's flip you through. I'm missing Joanne again, so I left a space there just in case I want to collect them. And again, I already showed off these cards, so I don't think I want to do too much time on these cards. So the last era and the most recent one is You Make My Day. So I have all these photo cards right here. I try not to keep doubles, so um, I'll show you later of all the doubles that I might have and that I'm going to sell. So I organized this page by um, different album versions. This is all neat version. And this right here is follow. And this is Set the Sun. And I kept all my lenticulars in here as well. So we have Meet. And then Follow. And I have Double June, so I'm going to sell one of them. And they slip out so easily, oh my gosh. And then we have Set the Sun, which is from here down to Set the Sun. So the reason why I have so many photo cards and lenticulars from this era is because I did do a fan sign slot. I bought a fan sign slot, so with that came with a bunch of photo cards and lenticulars. Um, I didn't want the album shipped over, I just wanted that and the signed page. 
so I can show off the sign page in another time or another day. So the last last thing we have that's most recent, not in terms of albums but just photo cards, is the one from the third generation carrot kit. And then so you'll see I have a whole bunch of random pages that I keep back here just in case I need to add more photo cards. And these are the pages that I made myself. If you can see there's a sewed line. Um, and then I'll show you really quickly all the other photo cards I have. So this one right here is my random fan site, Joanne Cards. So this one, let me double check. This is uh, from Affection Heart Attack, right? Yeah, Affection Heart Attack. And these photo cards are super gorgeous. I just keep them at the back though. I don't know if what I want to do with them. But they go through all the different areas. And I like to organize it um, by chronological order. So if you can kind of see, I like, I'm kind of OCD in that sense. So... Um, brown long hair to blonde and then black hair and then short brown hair and then brown hair to purple blonde and then blah 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 you can see kind of that so this bottom row right here starts the other photo card set this is from reddish blues um, which was a different um, what's it called photo book I can't remember I don't really want to promote that fan site so I'm not going to say which one but anyway so that's that and then on the back right here I do keep random photo cards that I do have um I need to organize it because I do have some other ones but I haven't put them in here yet these are my old Chris ones which I got from my cousin and because I used to really like Chris and then these ones are from the Signal album um I love this card so these last two pages at the back are photo cards I want to sell. I have a whole bunch of ideal cut ones, which are, I don't know why I'm having a hard time selling. I think it's because the ideal cut photo cards aren't that rare. So a lot of people aren't looking for them, but the Japanese photo cards are a little bit more hard to get. So I think I should be having a easier time selling them. And then I do have my extras and stuff. So I will be selling those. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to close this up. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope there wasn't too much glare in this video and I hope the viewing experience was enjoyable. I'm so sorry for not doing many close-ups. Um, I didn't want this video to be a thousand hours long. But anyways, if you guys liked it, then please give it a thumbs up if you want. And I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!